Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Stamp With Me. I am participating with a bunch of lovely crafters so please check out everyone's videos down below and you can also check out the playlist down below for all the episodes I have done so far. It has been so much fun to be inspired to use our stamps and I hope you guys are getting some inspiration as well. This is not one of those stamp heavy layouts. This is definitely one that incorporates them subtly and I think it's easy to do these types of things on any layout so maybe you'll pull out your stamps on some more layouts soon with some of these tips. Today I'm actually doing sort of a Valentine's themed layout but just photos of my cat. As you guys know, or if you don't know, I have a How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for the month and the How to Kill a Kit with Style is a homemade kit and I'm running out of papers in it that'll work for backgrounds. However, I pulled out this baby pink and gold and white striped background and after that I knew I wanted a different color scheme so I picked out this paper pad which is from Pink Paisley. Um, this is the Lucky Us paper pad and ephemera, which was sent to me by one of my lovely friends, Jana. And I just, you know, I haven't been had a chance to use it and I'm really glad that I was able to pull it out for this layout. And as you guys know, I am a huge fan of washi tape, so I also pulled out quite a few washi tape to feature on here. When it comes to six by eight paper pads or even six by six paper pads, it can be really overwhelming to try to use them. Um, except for in bits and pieces, but I've learned different ways that I could use them a bit differently. So for the right hand side, I matted that photo using a 6x8 from the Lucky Us paper pad, and then on the left, I used the singular photo, which is my icon photo in this case, from a Studio Calico paper pad, which is part of my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And this is the last full 6x6 in that paper pad, so I'm really excited to see it getting used up, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can use it up by the end of the month here. So I decided to take two of the same pattern of the 6x8 Lucky Us paper pad and kind of combine those into one larger piece. And I'm going to frame that with this polka dot washi tape on the bottom, following with a yellow washi tape. And these really match the floral colors in the background piece. And it's just so fun and cute. And maybe if I'd go back and change this, I would mat the entire piece of florals that I put together on some sort of cardstock just to give it a differentiator but it really doesn't read the same as camera on camera as it does in person. So I definitely think the layout looks a bit different in person and you guys might too. Um, and you might see that in the close-ups as well. So I start going through the ephemera and I have these stored in those magnetic photo sheets, which I've talked about over on Patreon before. I did a whole video about it when I transferred them. I believe sometime last year I did that and it's still going strong. I still like it. And here's where the stamping starts. I pulled out the Heart Day stamp set that I've had for a bit and haven't really utilized much and decided to stamp some on the ephemera. And I'd pick out the I Adore You and then these three hearts and that'll help build out the cluster. Yes, I could have used it as a journaling spot, but I like the idea of building and customizing the cluster using my stamps. And again, I don't know if that stamp set's still available, but I got mine at Tuesday morning, probably last year or the year before. And so you might be able to find it luckily that way. And since this is my focus piece, I am going to put some fun foam on the back. This is definitely one of my favorite things at the moment to highlight one photo on a page. And I just use tape adhesive and liquid adhesive to help glue that down. Only because foam is such a porous surface and, you know, one side is theoretically already sticky, but I don't know how long that'll last. Again, it's fun foam, not necessarily scrapbooking foam. So I want to make sure that it adheres well. I start to build my cluster here in the top left in this blank space and I will say it might bother some people that there's some trap space on the right of that I adore you but really it doesn't bother me in the end. I do feel it a little bit more which you'll see it's a little surprise so you'll have to wait to see what I pull out um, but it's actually really really cute and I still want to be able to see that floral paper. I understand that a lot of it got covered up when I was simply just putting my photos down so I wanted to have that floral peeking through still. So I did pull out a label sticker and put that into the cluster as well. And then I end up going through my Jen Hadfield sticker book, which I intended on using for this layout, but this layout had a completely different feel before I started adding all this stuff. So the sticker book got kicked out pretty quickly and I swapped it out for my Maggie Holmes ones, which has a lot more pastels, some brighter pastels. And I also pull in some more freckled fawn gold labels. These are my favorite gold labels at the moment and they are part of my How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I'm partial to using them for this particular layout. And since I already have a couple items on foam, like the photo and the little heart, I decided to put this rose on foam as well. 
And at this point, I'm not settled on a title, but I am thinking through options in terms of alphabets in my stash or phrases or stamps that I could possibly use. And again, I will have the playlist linked down below in case you guys are interested in hearing more episodes of Stamp With Me. And I'll also have everyone else participating linked down below so you guys can check them out and see their great stamping videos. But here I'm going to start working on the left cluster and the right cluster. Um, there wasn't too much in this sticker book that I ended up pulling out. I pulled out a phrase sticker here to add a bit more contrast since all the stamping so far has been done in black. I definitely think some more contrast could have been used in the bottom right. And then here's where the sticker palooza begins. I pulled out so many different types of stickers to figure out the title for this. And I figured the title would either go in the top strip there over the striped paper or the bottom strip. So there's two spaces I could utilize, right? And I have so many different colors to choose from because of that floral paper that has so many different shades in it. I start with this green and I think it reads pretty well on the background. So I decided to use this as part of my title and I'm thinking maybe I'll split it up between the top and the bottom. That would be cute. I look at some gold thickers. I look at some pink thickers. I look at a bunch of my thickers and realize I'm running low on a lot of letters. So what can I do? And then I kept going through my thickers. They're all right next to my desk. So it's really easy to flip through them. And again, I auditioned so many different ones and just realized, oh, there's not enough S's, there's not enough O's, etc. And eventually I found something miraculous. So this is an Amy Tan thicker set. And this is like the exact same font as the Fancy Pants at Well collection, just a different color. So what I decided to do is reduce my title, which was originally going to be the many positions of Poppy to the many poses of Poppy. And Poppy's my cat in these photos. And I hope you guys aren't... Um, uh, off put by how many cat photos I've been scrapbooking for this particular series but every time I want to stamp I just happen to have cute cat photos I want to stamp about but I have been scrapbooking things other than my cat if that's the only reason um, you're seeing me is popping through some of the other lovely ladies who link to my channel but I do scrapbook other things I promise um, so you guys can check out the rest of my channel for that I do tuck in that little paper clip bow from Bella Boulevard to help fill in some of that space in the middle and I do have to make my own letters for a lot of these. I think I didn't have any E's, so I had to make those. I had to make a T, and I think the rest were okay. And then I move on to some more stamping once those are all glued into place. I have this Heidi Swap stamp set that, again, I neglect a lot, and it has a bunch of these phrases that I could use as my own word strips, and it'd be a really great idea to actually bulk stamp these and then cut them out in mass and just have them on my desk to pull from because they're really cute, they're timeless, they say favorite, my love, uh, special and there's a couple other ones in the set that I didn't pull out but stamping those in black on a scrap piece of pattern paper that's too small for me to keep that I used as a layer and just trimming them out with my cutter bee scissors really simple and really fast way to get stamping onto your layouts is through something like this making your own ephemera making your own little embellishments really simple and really easy and highly recommend so I'm just going to glue those into place in each of the clusters essentially and I love how it turns out in the end. But that is pretty much it for this layout. Again, you guys will see the close-ups here in a second. And don't forget to check out everyone linked down below. We used our 6x8 paper pad. We used a ton of letters. We made our own letters. We used some ephemera I haven't touched yet, a paper pad I hadn't touched yet. And we also finished a freckled fawn label set. Like, this was a 10 out of 10 layout for me. So much fun. And I loved capturing all these different photos of my cat onto one page to describe that she lays around in so many different ways. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.